In this video, I want to show you how to open the simulator PLC, this one here, in Connected Components Workbench software. Now first, if you don't have the software, you can download Connected Components Workbench software by going to Rockwell Automation website, this one over here. I'll leave the link in the description box below. Then scroll down all the way until you see software D download software and there are two options there's a free um, version that's the standard edition the one that I'm currently using and there is um, a developer edition that's available for purchase I have covered how to download and install the software in this course um, under this section connected components uh, software um, I will leave the link in the description box below. I might do a short demo on how to download and install later for YouTube. So now going back to the software, let's say that this is the first time that you're opening the software. Then you need to go to File and then click on New. Now you need to give a name for the project. So I'll leave it as Project 2 and then click on Create. For this part, go to controllers, then to Micro 850, then LC50, and then choose the one that has the SIM at the end to tell you this is a simulator PLC. Then click on Select to add it to the project. Then to access the simulator PLC, you can either click on this little icon here. Or I'm going to close the window or you can go to tools and then select micro 800 simulator. Now for this simulator, you see that it's very similar to a real PLC. It has an IP address shown here. Now the inputs are at the top and the outputs are at the bottom. You also have uh, power on here and then you have different modes. You have the program modes and the run modes. Now if I click on the controller variables here, you would see the addresses for the output and the inputs of this simulator PLC. So I'm going to grab back the simulator PLC and then you see here are the addresses for the output. Now in order to connect to the simulator PLC, I'm going to click on the Micro 850 here tab. This will take me to the main page. So now the first thing is that I need to make sure that the power is on for this simulator PLC very similar to Area PLC. Now I need to make sure that I'm using the same IP address of the simulator PLC. So I need to make sure that the connected components workbench software is using the IP address of this PLC. There are multiple ways, but I will cover that in another video. But for now, go back to this page and click on this little icon that says set up connection path then make sure that you select the IP address shown on the simulator PLC. So for the simulator PLC that I'm using, this is the IP address, which is the first one. So I'm going to double click on it and click on close. Now I can connect to the PLC, the simulator PLC. I can download any program. I currently don't have any program as I'm just showing you how to access the simulator PLC. Um, I'm going to use this um, simulator PLC for um, teaching PLC ladder logic um, or um, sh even show you a demo uh, using a SCADA uh, project. So for now, um, I still want to show you how to connect to it. So go to click to connect here. Now this might be a long process, so you got to be a little bit patient uh, when connecting to the simulator PLC, especially for the first time. Then click on download current project to the controller, which is our simulator PLC. Then choose download. 
Now you know that the download has completed and it's successful when you see the orange uh, bar at the bottom. Um, I again currently don't have any program to download to the simulator PLC but if I have a PLC ladder logic program then I need to click on run and then test the program which I did in another video um, that I posted um, a couple of days ago. Alright, so that's what I want to show for this video. I wanted to show you how to access the simulator PLC in order to use it for um, your projects. Now the very last step, if you want to close the simulator PLC, then you need to click on disconnect here. And this will take you back to the program mode of the software. And then I can go ahead and click on closing the window for this PLC. In the meantime, again, I always like to refer back to my courses as resources if you want to explore more, as I already have them done. I have a full course using Connected Components Workbench software using the Simulator PLC with Factory IO software. This course has four projects with solutions to learn more about the two software and the PLC ladder logic programming. Um, you can see the projects on the left hand side over here. I'm going to leave um, a link of this course in the description box below this video as well. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos on PLC, ladder logic programming, SCADA and industrial automation. I'll see you next time.